Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of The Dylan House Show with Dylan House. I'm Dylan House. You like the new set? I don't. Now, a lot of people have been wondering, where was the second episode of The Dylan House Show? Why did it take so long? <laughs> well, I tell you, this is what we've been doing. Damn it! That's another 20 bucks, House. You win again this round, Shanghai Ron. I'll get that Asian Ron one of these days. Now let's get to the stories for today. An 83-year-old woman dies after being struck by a skateboarder. Her last words were, You damn kids! A man finds a rare copy of the Declaration of Independence. And that man is Nicolas Cage. Here's a few other stories if you didn't like those jokes. I mean, I, I, mean, I wrote them up there. Uh, white minority, uh, the debt ceiling, that's no good. War on terror, who ever heard of that? Oh, okay, here's a perfect story. Perfect story. Fargo man decapitated in a 4th of July fireworks accident. Still better than being ground up in a wood chipper. Coen Brothers reference. <laughs> All right. Speaking of fireworks, we recently went to the Worcester 4th of July Spectacular. They had bands playing and explosions in the sky. It was, it was great. Just check out this clip we have. 4th of July. It encapsulates the two things America is known for. Unconditional patriotism and explosions. Yes, America. A country based on violence and revolution. See, most people don't remember that. Most people don't know that America was founded when George Washington said to the King of England, Hey man, we're not going to take it anymore. We're not going to take all your unjust stuff. And then he kicked him in the gooch. And that's how America was born. And to celebrate that day, every year Worcester holds a celebration where they have fireworks and food and fun and music. Uh, now what's your name? Katie. <laughs> Katie, what do you like about today's festivities? Um, the helicopter. You like the helicopter? Um, helicopter. It's a good experience. We did it two years ago and had fun, so I'm excited. It should right. be good. How do you feel your band fits in with the whole 4th of July festivities? We're not a rock band. We're not necessarily uh, out for intensity. Um, so, you know, fireworks are a good closer. We're just kind of the opener. So. Now, I see you got some uh, swag here. Um, we will be releasing our first legitimate LP, our album, in August, and that will be available on iTunes. Um, 12 tracks and uh, we'll be throwing out a couple copies tonight at the show of our uh, single off the album so that's what we got going on. All right. Thank yes. you. Awesome. Thank you. What's up Worcester, Ohio? Yeah. How you guys feeling? Yeah, come on up. Let's, let's get cozy. Let's get cozy up here. I know. Alright, and what do you do? I'm um, lead guitar, I'm filling in today. And you? Uh, drummer. 
uh, lead bass. Um, so you play 90s rock, is that like alternative? Yeah, some Third Eye Blind, a little bit of Foo Fighters. Uh, we got to play some things on the off days. So you're primarily like a cover band? Um, well, we write a lot of our own music too, but for today, uh, just for you know the atmosphere, I think people like to hear drummers more. So. so on a day that we don't catch you doing a cover, what kind of uh, music do you play? Uh, definitely alternative rock. Is there a way we can find you online or something if anybody wants to look you up? Uh, we actually have a Facebook page, uh, 51 Reasons, if you want to check that out. She calls me a liar that wears the tape mask. Yes, the songs are coming too fast for her now. No, I'd like to believe in the I taught my girlfriend how to play drums. Watch this. Watch this. Yes! Oh, she's better than me. George Washington Carver. Alright. George Washington Carver, who invented the peanut and America. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're playing in a band today. What band? I'm playing in Jag, the last band to play tonight, 9 o'clock. I'm playing in Jag. I'm playing with a band called Jag. Jag? Weird. He's the lead singer. Yeah, did you already see Logan? Yes, we did. What do you think about the festivities today? They're pretty amazing. I'm really excited to play here. What kind of music do you play? Sexy rock and roll. Uh, what do you play in band? I play guitar and I do some crazy uh, background vocals. I play the wackamajigs, otherwise known as the drums. I play the bass guitar. That, that would make sense because you're holding a bass guitar. Now, how did you get the name Jack? Yeah. Well, you know, I was going to be in a band with a buddy of mine a couple months ago, and we decided to call it out, but I stole the name because I thought it was a pretty sick name. Now, what does that sound like? Crazy background. Don't wait to that guy. Is that like, oh, like the United States? Hey, it's none of your business, Mr. Drummer. It's Andrew Cruz, but he's so cool. Don't wait to him. I don't care who he is. He may be cool. Hey, I have a great joke for you, Brian the Drummer. Yes, sir. What do you call a drummer without a girlfriend? What? Homeless. Uh, what? Painfully true. Now, is there like a website or something so if somebody wants to follow you guys, they can, you know, check you out? Well, I think most people have heard of a little thing called Facebook, so they can check us out on there. Jag, J A G. That's all for today, America, and remember, never get your mogwai wet or feed it after midnight. Thank you. Good night. Or good morning, I suppose. I mean, you know, it depends where you're watching this from. But just g goodbye, I guess, is what I'm saying.